it's five past one in the morning. There you go. Five past one. And just got back to the room um, in where we're staying from the other apartments where I've been just uploading a few photos and things. I've, I've just chucked everything into a folder for day two, which probably isn't very good. Um, and it's Saturday, Sunday morning at the moment, and I arrived on Friday, and we don't start any sort of official work till Monday. So I'm still kind of settling in and relaxing, and later on on Sunday, I'll move into the other apartment to stay with the other guys, because some of the people who are there now will be gone. Um, so I'll just show you the room. Um, it's like any room anywhere else. Uh, apart from the fact it's in a huge, tall, communist block on the outside in a minefield of identical-looking blocks. Um, but the inside, they seem to be quite quite cool, pretty flexible, do what you want with it. Um, I don't know if they're owned or rented, um, but it's quite nice. So we've got some good decoration on the wall here. It's a girl's room. It's probably towels I go around. Some decent cupboards in here. I'm not using them. But I've got my media station just down here. My hard drive and stuff going around. Um, bags. This is partly some of the stuff that I carry around with me. My shoes on my feet, obviously. Uh, rucksack with camera and things in it. Tripod to the left been shopping today in that green bag I've got some food and um, and my microphone's over here so you know it's a decent sized room it's quite good can't complain um, so today's gone quite well I uh, got up well after last night clubbing till five ish got up at 11 10 or 11 or something and Nereus came round at 12 and so we went around the Kaunas, we looked at the old church. Actually, we started off in a, um, a nuns, a working monastery, which is occupied by around a dozen nuns. And we took photos in that, which is now a museum. Um, and they're on Facebook. Then we went to the centre of Kaunas, and I saw the church in the, the top of the main street. Um, which is in a lot of the things if you search for Kaunas, you'll, that's what you'll see. Uh, we went down a main street, we walked around lots of sort of back alleys, saw some old churches, the oldest building. Then we went to Kaunas Old Town. There's an old town in Kaunas which is very, very nice. We had some sushi in the old town, which is nice and modern, which is uh, really nice. Then we walked down to the river over what used to be a suspension bridge but isn't anymore. Uh, we saw the old an area called, which is called the Colosseum, which is lots of seats looking down on a performance tent uh, stage, um, open air. And then we went back around through a big park, uh, past a, a, an old church which has been turned into a warehouse, as many of the churches um, were in the Soviet times. Um, so there's a lot of dilapidated churches knocking around that used to be warehouses or gyms or things. Um, one of the Ukrainian girls was saying a lot of the churches were gyms in, in Ukraine in the Soviet times. Um, and then we went back back round to the old town where we had a pint in a coffee shop. This was about six or seven at night. And I started falling asleep and we left at eight or nine. Nereus went home because he lives in the centre of Kaunas and I went back to the flat and now I'm here. After I've been sat in the flat uploading things. So it's been a good day. I've not really had too much of a talk with people as we've been taking things in. Um, I mean, last night I got to talk to Nereus about his the impact of living in a communist state growing up on him and and how old people feel, different generations, how they react to it. Then we talked about, you know, the recovery of it because Lithuania looks, I don't know if it is poor or not, but it feels like it's still developing. Um, but that, that doesn't hinder anything, at least, the quali quality of life. Um, now he says, isn't always ideal, and there's a big divide, but then again, that's the same in many other places. Um, you know, it's quite cheap for me, 
I, I think the average wage is a lot lower. I think he said maybe 400 litres, which is something like, I don't know, I can't remember the conversion rate. Um, divide it by five to get the whatever it's worth in pounds. Um, so, yeah, it's an interesting place. I, I haven't explored it actually, I need to find out more. Um, so I'll probably report back with more once I've got a bit of the bigger picture of Lithuania. So far, so good. Um, lots of history, um, even from the times when it wasn't in existence. And yeah, nice place. Uh, you need kind of a car to get around, but no use drives. So I think that's it for day, day two of 16. So thank you very much for watching.